this video, we'll take a look at using the GPIO, the General Purpose Input Output, and we'll take a look at the input side of things, using a push button connected to one of the GPIO pins, and then we'll output to an LED. We'll take a push button switch like this. We'll have the microcontroller read the push button switch on one of the GPIO pins, and then we'll output on another pin, completely different port and completely different pin, on an LED. When we press the button, the LED will turn on. For the LED output, I'm going to use the same port and pin that we used in the instructional video for LED output, which is port C, pin 6. And that was located on pin number 37, which is right around here. As before, we'll use a resistor and an LED, and it will be connected back to ground. When we output a 1 or a high to this pin, we will light up the LED because it's connected to ground. For the input, I'm going to connect the push button switch to pin number 27, which is port B, pin 1. The push button schematic is going to look like this. It's going to come from 27, which is the port B, pin, pin 1, and it's going to have a resistor. And the resistor here is just to protect the pin. It's going to be a 330 ohm resistor. And then this will be the switch, and from the pin, we're going to have, have another resistor, and that's going to be connected to ground and the ground resistor will be at a high resistance so we're not going to be using a lot of current when the switch is actually depressed. This will be a 220k ohm resistor. The resistor coming from the pin will be a 330 ohm resistor and this resistor really is only to be used when this is going to be connected to VCC. So in the pressed state you're going to have these two connected so you're going to have a connection between ground and VCC which will be at 220k ohms, which is high resistance, so very little current is being used when we're pressing the button. But it's also connecting to the pin at a 330 ohm resistance, so we're protecting the pin, but we're still getting the high signal from VCC. When the push button is not being depressed, you'll notice that the pin is going to be directly connected to ground. And what we're doing here is we're pulling this pin down as a natural state. We're doing this instead of actually pulling the pin down internally. We could do that in software where we use the PUPD, the pull up pull down register and pull this down but that's only pulling it down to about 40k as specified in the data sheet and we're pulling it down at 220k which is a lot more resistance and will draw less current when the push button is pressed. If we didn't have a pull down resistor externally and we didn't have the pull up pull down resolved internally, when the push button is not pressed, this would be in a floating state. And you'll notice quite unpredictable behavior. Even waving your hand over the circuit could cause unpredictable outcomes. So when you're putting a circuit together that has an input, that is the mode for the particular pin is set as input, you wanna make sure that it's either pulled down or pulled up and not in a floating state because that input is going to be acting like an antenna and can pick up noise and if that noise goes above or below the thresholds for TTL circuits transistor transistor logic circuits then it will produce an outcome make the LED turn on or do some other unpredictable effect if you have a much more complex circuit now that we understand how the circuit works we can go ahead and put together the circuit on a breadboard the first thing you'll want to do, if you haven't done so already, is set up your board so you'll have all of your power connected and all the power rails connected together. And this, this power connected, the power connected from the bottom of the board, and you have the boot zero connected to ground with the 510 ohm resistor. Let's get started by connecting the LED to, to port C, pin 6, and that's on the pin number 37. Insert the 330 ohm resistor across the two tie strips, and then the LED with the flat side towards the ground. So from pin 37, we have a 330 ohm resistor to an LED that is connected to ground. Now we can connect the switch to pin number 27 which is port B pin 1. We'll start with the 330 ohm resistor connecting the two tie, tie strips. Then we'll put the, the switch allowing the lead of the switch in the back here to share 
one of the spots in the tie strip with the resistor so it can give me enough room back here to put the other resistor. And we'll put the 220 ohm resistor on that same tie strip to ground. Now we only have to put in the connection from VCC to the other side of the switch. So now when the switch is depressed, this lead will be connected to this lead. And VCC will be connected to ground through a 220K resistor. And it'll also be connected back to pin number 27 with the 330 ohm resistor. The circuit should be ready to go. In the next video, we'll delve into looking at the registers and what registers we have to use for control and what registers we have to use for reading the input. We'll also get into the programming, starting out with pseudocode to explain how the program is going to flow and what we need to do in the program. And then we'll write the code. As always, go to newbiehack.com, check out our microcontroller kits and all of the sensors and components that we have for sale. And also check out the AVR series of microcontroller tutorials, which will help you quite a bit in this tutorial series as well. Thank you for watching.